Bismillah rahman rahim Dear students, this video is going to enable you how to write descriptive essay. It will tell you all about what you need for writing a descriptive essay in your paper, especially for O-levels or for SAT or any other essay in which you want to express yourself in terms of uh, uh, what you see or in terms of what you taste or what you listen, how to explain all these things and, and a kind of essay in which you describe the things around you, for example, the place in which you live and the, you know, atmosphere you are in or the, the, the noises, the voices you hear or what you feel and in in what way you are, you need to express those things so if you want really want to know all about these things and you are students of o level or if you are uh, let alone o levels if you want to write an essay for the sake of writing an essay though this video is for you just listen uh, it carefully here is what writing essay is so is an art and an art can't be learned without uh, untiring effort and strong desire to attain it and here we we will uh, learn step by step how to write a descriptive essay so content to discuss over there is what is descriptive essay what are the basic ingredients uh, I mean, how to see, how to uh, feel the sound and smell and touch and taste and how to write descriptive essay with examples, checklist and its details with examples, past papers. This series that I've started uh, for you to, uh, to watch is exclusively for those students, higher uh, students who want to improve their uh, descriptive skills. Will this uh, uh, video surely help them? Here is the basic definition of descriptive essay. What descriptive essay is? And descriptive essay is, there are some points you need to follow it. Number one is descriptive essay draws a visual picture of a person, visual picture of person, place, thing, dream, event, or an idea. For example, you write something and the person who is reading it, he should be able to Picture that thing, whatever you have written on the piece of paper. If the person who is not in, un, who is not able to understand what you have read is not able to make a picture in his mind, whatever you have read, uh, written in your paper, it's mean your your essay is not a descriptive one. So okay, the second one is in this type of essay, one single topic is explained vividly. Vividly means clearly, and adjectives and adverbs are used frequently. You cannot write your descriptive essay unless you have uh, used frequently what adjectives and adverbs. So this may be subjective or objective in expression. Subjective and objective in expression means if you want to give your own opinion, it's when you are talking about subjective or objective means that you have described the thing as it is. The next one is ideas are not told, but short, very important thing. It appeals the sense, sense of the reader, senses of the reader. So it, in, it comprises five elements, sensory details, figurative language, dominant impression, precise language and careful organization. Well, this is the structure of the essay you need to keep in your mind while writing that, uh, the, sorry, descriptive essay. So it has three distinctive parts, the introduction, the middle and the conclusions. Okay, next here is this descriptive essay. We are going to talk about what descriptive essay is. Adjectives and adverbs are two word classes that make an essay a descriptive essay. That's very much clear to you. The more adjectives you have, the more vivid picture you can present in the essay. In the same way, the more number of adverbs you have, the more vibrantly you can express the action in many ways. So adjectives most often appear just in front of the nouns that they modify. You must know what, what are the adjectives? What do the adjectives do? Adjectives are most of the time placed before the noun they're going to modify it. So for example, look at this, the old cranky caretaker. So we are going to describe caretaker and caretaker is old and cranky. Refuse to answer our puzzling question. So which type of question he refused to answer? are the puzzling questions. So notice that when two or more adjectives precede a noun, they are usually separated by comma. And then, but occasionally adjectives follow the noun they modify. For example, the caretaker old and cranky refused to answer our questions. So adjectives may place, may be placed before the noun and adjectives may be placed after the noun. Uh, but there are some adjectives that are always there, they should be placed before a noun. And there are so many adjectives that are they placed after the, they're only after the 
noun. So uh, with the passive time, we will start reading it. We will be able to understand uh, the nature of the sentence structure and adjectives. So here, the comma appears outside the pair of adjectives, which are joined by the conjunctions. And this is common way of to create sense of emphasis in a sentence. And here are the examples. Adjectives sometimes appear in a third position in a sentence after a linking verb, such as an am, are, is, was, or were. As their names implies, these verbs like adjectives with the subjects they modify. His voice was rough. Your children are cruel. This seat is wet. He seems quite dangerous presently. I'm happy to see you smiling. The soldiers appear nice in uniform. So these are the maximum use of adjectives that I have written over there in, in, in front of you. His voice was rough. And how many words you can use to explain the word voice? His voice was rough. And your children are cruel, kind, nice, whatever you can write. This seat is wet, dry, rough, whatever. He, he seems quite dangerous presently, pleasant presently, furious presently, like this. I'm happy to see you smiling. The soldiers appear nice. These are all the adjectives. In each of these sentences, the adjective rough, cruel, wet modifies the subject, but follows the linking verb was or her. Here, see, I can use the word instead of rough, horse. We can use also. We can also use husky. We can also use rasping. We can also use raucous. And we can also use croaky. And we can also use throaty. And gruttle, guttural. These are all the adjectives and that can be used with voice and this is the you know vocabulary you need to understand for writing your your you make make your writing more vivid expressive and having a variety in it okay so what other words we can use for cruel uh, like this, you can use many other words, for example, cruel, wet, you can use your own words. This was just example for you and you can have your own words. I would request you to make these sentences and, you know, for, for example, the, your children are cruel, make your own sentences. Your children are cruel, your children are kind, your children are attractive, whatever, how many words you have in your mind. The more words you have in your mind, the more, uh, you know, uh, vivid description you can use, uh, you can explain for the children. I'm waiting for your response in the, in the, in the section comment below. Uh, come up with these sentences and show your, um, you know, interest in vocabulary and descriptions, okay? And the next one is, here is descriptive essay adjectives. So there's, there's another example for you. How can you make it? So many adjectives are formed uh, from nouns and verbs nouns and adverbs. Many adjectives are formed from nouns and verbs. The adjective thirsty, for example, comes from thirst, which may be either noun or verb. Complete each sentence below with the adjectives form of the noun or verb given in the sentence. For example, I, IOS, OUOUS, ARY, TIC, IBLE, full, sum, ING, all these words symbolizes or they will help you to understand that that particular word is an adjective, okay? It will help you a lot to understand these things. So in 2005, Hurricane Katrina uh, brought great destruction to the Gulf Coast. It was one of the most dash hurricane in recent decades. So which word can be used in place of ruinous, pernicious, del deleteriousness, all these other words we can use over here. So all of our pets enjoy good health. Our uh, coolie is exceptionally dash despite its advanced age. So which word should be here? Your suggestions make a great deal of sense. You may be a very dash idea. Here you can use the adjectives. Google made record profits last year. It is one of the most dash com uh, companies in the world. So which word should become, should uh, use here in, in, in blank space? So Dr. Kraft's job requires patience and skills. He is a dash negotiator. So all through high schools, Giles rebelled against his parents and teachers. Now he has three dash children of his own. So telling jokes that will not offend others can be difficult. Some comedians are deliberately dash. So come up with the answer. Here is the word destructive. Destructive hurricane. So destructive means ruinous, pernicious, deleterious. These are the vocabulary words and adjectives that can be used before a hurricane. And here is the word healthy. Our colleagues exceptionally healthy. And another one, you have a very sensible idea profitable companies, patient negotiator, and here is a rebellious children of his own. And here is the offensive. So many other words you can, destructive, devastating, deadly, damaging, 
catastrophic, calamitous, and here is healthy, robust, vigorous, sturdy, and muscular. Okay. And for sensible, we can use prudent, shrewd, judicious, and sagacious. And for profitable, lucrative, rewarding, well paid. And for patient, we can use tolerant, we can forbearing and enduring. These are all the words you can use for the negotiator. And this is all, these are all the adjectives. The more adjectives you, you know, uh, to express a particular noun, the more vividly and the more effectively you can write your adjective as uh, uh, descriptive essay and lenient also can be there. And here is disobedient instead of rebellious, unruly, and you know, recalcitrant and defiant. And here is the stubborn. All these words can be used. And here is aggressive instead of offensive and insulting. And then embarrassing and then disgusting. And here is nasty and fool. Okay, so there is another types of adjectives. We will discuss it in later in the next uh, episode. So please uh, let me know whatever kind of whatever you have learned from e, uh, from the first part of descriptive essay. We will continue it till we will solve, and uh, I'll show you how to write a descriptive essay for my dear students. Thank you very much, class. I'll be waiting for your feedback. Uh, thanks for now. We'll see you tomorrow. See you soon, inshallah.